hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how to pass parameters from your Java application to your Jasper report parameters may be anything something like your text fields data or your uh, your label data or a string data to be sent to your Jasper for that you need to understand the concept of creating parameters in your Jasper report so here I'll just show you an example of Jasper of the uh, I, what I have already created one. So I'll just show you with some sales report or we can say vendor and customer. So here I'll just open this it's a little bit. I'll give you a good clarity. So I have already created a vendor and customer XML file. You can see here this is an iReport design. So this comes with this this column names and uh, your this details come from your SQL query, but we'll be discussing about this in the later tutorials. But here I just wanted to know what are, what is this dollar p c name? This is a parameter which you have already created in your Jasper report. For example, I'll just move it to this little bit down, and I'll create a parameter create parameter and I'll just say as uh, some XYZ right you can see here so I'm just writing an XYZ parameter and the parameter is created here I'll just pass it over to my header so in the parameters you are supposed to pass only the string values to this place so I'll just show you from where actually I'm passing this data and now let me do this I'll just go to my Java application yeah. so for my customer details where is that yeah it's here so to save time this I have already written so I'm just showing you in a shortcut way on the print function so you can see I have written a common print method one second okay it's not available for this I think so common it's a user name it's a text such product okay we don't have print for this so I'll don't worry I'll just show you some other example with this itself just sorry for this yeah mm, I'll go with my another report so here I have invoice one so here I have plenty of uh, um, what I say parameter names but uh, for you guys I'll just create a parameter to have a good idea so I have plenty of parameters passing here so I'll just create a parameter right I'll just create a parameter and I'll just click on uh, I'll write the same XYZ here so actually in the previous uh, our example what I was supposed to show I haven't written the print method so I'll just give you a direct clarity here so I'm just passing the XYZ here and just a moment I'll reduce this yeah something like this yeah it's finally done now I'll go to my invoice panel from where I can send the XYZ value to this mentioned X I can send the my string value to this XYZ parameters here so I'll just go to my Java application format and it is actually invoice frame where it's uh, here so I'll just go to design so I know that uh, I have uh, I'm trying to show the report and the place of D so I'll just click on mouse clicked and in this common print function I'm just passing the 
values. So, I have just created a common print function. For this, I have created some common uh, objects like Jasper Design, Jasper Report, Jasper Print, and Jasper Print 2. So, this was a little bit this will be a little bit complicated to understand, but these are the common three objects you need to create for a Jasper print. So, Jasper design, Jasper report and Jasper print. So, I have stored all the parameter names in string where I can pass my string values to my report. So, these are all the string values here. So, I will just create uh, one more parameter here. String, I uh, will say uh, send x y z value mm, is equals to I'll pass hello world Jasper something like this so I'll just pass this value I'll just pass this parameter at the place of hash map so for this I'm just creating a Jasper design object is called I'll here Jasper design JD equals to JRXML loader dot load your file to get the absolute path. So my file is in source. Here you can see in the source it is invoice one. So I can see here in the forward slash source. I am just passing a common name here so that I can use this method for plenty of time. So I'm just passing the Jasper here and dot JRXML file. This is a JRXML file here and uh, I, I must create an hash map uh, to pass the key and value values here so here I'll just pass my parameter p a r a m params dot uh, put your object is in string your Jasper report object is x uh, parameter is x y z and I'm just passing the value send x y z so I'll see what happens when I just check it. I'll click on invoice, run it. It's running. Yeah, one second. I have a database header here. Let me close the database. Yeah, it's done. I'll again run it. Yeah, I'll already show you with one example I have done here. I'll click on the day invoice. It's, it will show you a preview when you click on this. Yeah, you can see a hello world Jasper file is being passed from your uh, a string hash map to this. So, this is how you can pass your parameters. So, I'll show you the complete one. So, Jasper design query equals to new query. New design query equals new query dot set text and you should pass your query here whatever the design whatever the f names you have used in your jasper will be passed from this place and jd equals to set query and i'm passing the query here and jasper report equals to jasper compiler dot compile report jd and jp dot jasper film manager dot field report your jasper report parameters are this and you're just passing the connection so this is how it happened guys so thank you